Today, I'm going to show you how to properly clean the dust out of your PlayStation 4. Doing this will fix various common issues with a dirty console. The difficulty for this tutorial will be somewhere around a 4 or 5 out of 10. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started. Things you'll need to open up the console are a standard Phillips screwdriver. Alternatively, you could use a POSI 0 or POSI 1 screwdriver. A T8 security screw, which is just a T8 but with a hole in the middle. If you don't have a T8 security screwdriver, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do with the flathead screwdriver that works just as well in a pinch. The first thing we need to do is flip the console upside down and turn your attention to the back. I've opened up this console various times throughout the years for repairs and maintenance, so the stickers that cover up these screws are all gone. If you've never opened up your console before, just peel back the stickers in these locations. Now I must warn you that removing the stickers will void your warranty. If you're still under any sort of warranty, please check out a video I made that shows you how to properly clean your PlayStation 4 without voiding your warranty. That video will be linked down in the description below. Alright, so moving on. You only need to remove these three screws that are circled. We're going to be using the T8 security screwdriver to remove these screws. Now if you don't have a T8 security screwdriver, you could use a small flathead size 2 screwdriver. Just make sure to place the flathead securely in between the grooves and turn slowly to avoid stripping the screw. Once you removed all the screws, it's time to pull back the cover. Now I did this with one hand while recording with the other, but when you do this you want to use both hands to gently pry up moving around the back. With a small amount of pressure, it should easily pop off. If you notice that the cover is a bit dirty, just use a damp towel or some sort of compressed air or a vacuum to just clean it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly clean the fan, the heatsink, and the power supply. There's no point in having a clean fan if the inside of the power supply or the heatsink are all clogged up with all that dust and dirt and nasty stuff in there. Don't worry, it's a lot simpler than it sounds. Just follow the tutorial and you should be fine. If you don't feel comfortable removing the power supply to clean it and the heatsink, that's okay. Just skip ahead to the fan cleaning portion. Alright, so let's move on. Remove these screws holding down the power supply. The screws circled in green use the T8 security bit. All the ones circled in red, you can just use the Phillips or Posi screwdriver to remove them. It's important to clean the power supply because the dust and dirt acts as a blanket covering the components inside, making it run harder, which results in a shorter lifespan. Once you removed all the screws, unplug the little connector by gently wiggling it out. Here's the tricky and most difficult part of this whole tutorial. What you want to do is with both hands wiggle the power supply upwards. You will feel more resistance from the left side where you disconnected the connector, but that's okay, that's normal. Just wiggle it a little bit harder on that side until it pops right out. To clean the power supply, all you have to do is take some compressed air and do small bursts of air inside. Don't shake the can of compressed air before or during use to avoid forming ice. If that happens, it's not the end of the world, but it's also not the best thing for electronics. Just do short bursts of air like I did and you'll avoid that. With the power supply clean, we can now move on to the fan. There are a lot of different ways to clean the fan. One of them is using cotton swabs to clean each blade individually like so. Another is using a hoover or vacuum to just suck out all the dust. You can also use a brush and simply brush off all the dirt or even just use the compressed air. Pick any of these methods that you feel the most comfortable with. Moving on to the heat sinks, as mentioned there's no point in having a clean fan if your heat sink and power supply are all clogged up. This one isn't as dirty, but if it was, simply get a brush and brush out all the nasty stuff that might be stuck in there. Compressed air works fine too. Once you're done, use compressed air or a brush to clean the surrounding areas. You could also use a hoover or a vacuum if you want, but I personally don't use that method. Assembling your PlayStation 4 is the same as when you took it apart, just in reverse order. A few tips for reassembling the power supply. Don't forget to plug the connector back in and make sure the screws circled in green have the tabs facing inwards like this. The next PS4 tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove the scratches from the gloss black cover. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help you out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future videos, and until next time, this has been GTR Bytes.